What is up, alien army? I'm Oculus, the alien next door, purveyor of esoteric lore, and I just decided to sit down and have a chat because I am sipping some wonderful coffee, and I decided that I will channel a few things, which I have conveniently written in the fucking voice notes of uh, one of my iPads. So, uh here we are i do just want to start with the first topic that i want to cover and i'm going to be referencing my notes here because you know third house mercury gonna get distracted so the first thing that i wanted to talk about is that time exists differently for everyone okay and the thing that i channeled was exactly that time exists differently for everyone four minutes to person a might be four years for person B and vice versa, right? So now what I mean by this is that when we are exploring the concept of time, and this is conveyed to me in part by Lord Saturn, Lord Saturn has stipulated that time is really a construct that exists in the 3D plane, right? Also, I believe there is some, I don't know what the fuck it's called, science or mathematics, some fucking shit, right? Uh, where they say that the fourth dimension is time. I don't know what branch of science that goes under, so, you know, and I don't claim to, but uh, it is purported that the 4D is also the dimension of time. So Saturn does agree with this accordingly, and he wants me to let you all know that when you are talking about in terms of time, think about it. If you are trying to manifest something, and it seems like it's big and it seems like it's fucking Mount Everest. I don't know why that, that specifically came up. It means something to someone. I don't know who, but you'll know if it's for you. Uh, if it seems like Mount Everest is uh, standing before you on the path to you um, becoming one in vibration with that which you desire, which you already are. The mountain, essentially, Mount Everest, is really the ego's concept of time, construct of time. There's nothing that is uh, physically separating you from anyone or anything else. And the limitations that you see, like let's say, for example, the uh, numbers that are on the clock or the dates that are on the calendar, uh, whatever it is, anything that has to do with a number or in terms of timing, like two weeks, you know, like a fortnight or some shit, right? All of that is a construct that uh, the 3D plane abides by, but what, but when that is all a construct that which the 3D plane abides by, but when one is operating from their eye, their third eye, now they essentially with the third eye are T, um, directing orders at the two eyes, conscious mind and subconscious mind, which are the two eyes, okay? And the third eye is the uh, eye of the all, okay? So we have the eye of the all, which connects you to everything. We have the two eyes, the two material realm eyes, which are representative metaphorically of conscious and subconscious mind. Now, what we are going to talk about in terms of this is that... Um, Hold on, I'm just writing because I want to give a synopsis of what this video is about because I'm going to forget. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Whew. You know me, I, I move fucking fast, right? My fucking tongue can't keep up with my fucking brain. Anyway, uh, so we have the one eye, the third eye, the singular eye. That is the eye of the all. That is the eye of the ethers. The two eyes, because they exist in the 3D realm, but they are also tapped into the 4D, the conscious and subconscious mind. These are the representatives of the left eye and the right eye, okay? Um... So when we're talking about the left and the right eye, now I don't remember which is which because I never know my left from my right. Like if I'm giving directions, I'm sitting in a car. I'm literally like you make a your side turn here or you make a my side turn there. Right. If I'm giving directions. OK, obviously, that'd be different if you're in like the UK where the steering wheel is on the opposite side. But either which way i don't know my left from my right or i don't really care to it's like who cares it's fucking semantics bro like ain't nobody gives shit about a fucking title right left right who cares so i don't remember which one is representative um the right side of the humanoid vessel or the left side of the humanoid vessel one of them is associated with the left brain and one is associated with the right brain and i do know that the right brain is subconscious mind 
uh, creativity, abstract thinking, yada, yada, emotional bodies, shit like that. The left side is representative of the masculine, like the conscious mind and logic and, you know, uh, mathematician type bullshit, right? Like shit like that. Okay, but I do know that they are switched. So the actually the the and I don't know which it is. I'm sure some of you know, so it doesn't really matter. Well, it does fucking matter scientifically, but um, it doesn't matter for the purpose of what this channel is. But either which way, they are switched in the brain, and this is what I'm talking about. So the right side of your brain is actually controlling your left side of your body, and your left side of your brain is actually controlling your right side of your body, or something to that effect okay i don't know the science of it i am sitting here not claiming to okay but you can look look that up but for the purpose which is why this came up in this channel session is that because you would think that the right uh side brain would control like the right side of the body but it doesn't it controls the opposite and you would think that the left side of the brain would uh control the left side of the body but does spirituality make any type of uh logical sense no it does not uh not necessarily you know uh unless you really sit there and you tr you dig deep i mean a little bit can be logical but then you know that comes down to vocabulary and again 3d shit but for the sake of just energy we do know that um the the left and the right side of the brain which are representative i'm seeing metaphorically for as the two eyes uh subconscious and conscious mind now the reason why they control the other is because they influence each other. They are one and the same. They are the same thing. I always talk about poles, same thing, different degree. They, um, I'm just, I'm getting a lot of information. They're the same thing, different degree, right? Your right eye, your left eye, they're the same thing, different degree. Your right brain, your left brain are the same thing, different degree. But why do they control physically the opposite? Because metaphorically, they do control the opposite because the subconscious mind does influence and control the conscious mind that's why you have subconscious mind programs that do occur in the humanoid uh, psyche mindset and we do have that the conscious mind can uh induce and influence the subconscious mind into creating a new program or paradigm which you know uh these energies they do influence each other so i just find it interestingly that in the humanoid vessel you know it's also representative of duality yet duality is controlling and um exhibiting an influence on its opposite even if it's not trying because the two of them they do not exist separately they they coexist together right every end of the pole every opposite you know light dark good bad whatever the fuck you want to look at it okay short tall I, you know what i'm saying they, they they they're the same thing different degree so when you because I don't don't think I forgot where I fucking started now. I was talking about Lord Saturn, what he was telling me about how time exists differently for everyone. Let me take a sip of coffee. Hold on. Mm. Okay, so when we're talking about the concept of time. It exists differently to everyone because the the I the third eye, not the two physical ones, which are representative of a subconscious and conscious mind, right? These two are the two eyes that are essentially what you are getting reflected back to you is uh, being projected from the two physical eyes, but they are taking dictation. They are taking direct orders from the eye of the all, the third eye, which resides above the conscious and subconscious mind. The eye of the all resides beyond the poles because I just went to that whole fucking spiel about the motherfucking poles and the duality and the different sides of the brain and the different sides of the humanoid vessel, right? He sees that they are two simultaneously, each end of the pole, right eye, left eye, right brain, ref, left brain, whatever, the, however the fuck you want to look at it, subconscious, conscious, he sees how they have a relationship together and they are influencing each other. That is what the eye of the all sees. He does not see duality. That is why the eye of the all, if you are imagining Mount Everest, right? Your subconscious mind, your right eye and your left eye are going to be looking at that physical mountain, right? Because they're there to like really support what the ego wants because, uh, because they are physical representations of like egoistic energy. That's their natural inclination to gravitate towards that which the ego stipulates. But in reality, when one has mastered the eye of the all in themselves, now they, 
that Mount Everest motherfucking melts away, motherfucker. That shit dissolves. And then you're in like a fucking puddle and shit. You know what I'm saying? So you see that shit dissolve in front of your face. And the Mount Everest is representative of the time, right? Because time, and this is what Lord Saturn just conveyed to me right now. He says time is considered a material realm blockage or a hindrance, okay? And the reason why it's considered a material realm blockage or hindrance is because 4D, as I said in the beginning, don't think I forgot, okay? I might be all over the place and jumbled, but I know what the fuck I'm saying, okay? The, the 4D is representative of time. The 3D, the two eyes, as I said, the right brain, the left brain, the subconscious, the conscious mind. These, these things are egoistic in nature. They can take orders from 4D and 5D, but because 4D time, quote unquote, is closer, their natural inclination, they're going to be more receptive to that, right? So that's why sometimes like um, deadlines in the 3D, they can work sometimes to the benefit, right? Like if let's say you want to manifest something on a schedule, um, and you uh, put like a time that in a way does comfort the egoistic eyes, the, the two eyes, the subconscious and the conscious mind. They're like, oh, okay, now we have something more familiar for us to grasp forward because time does exist on the 3D plane because time governs the 3D plane if you want to think about it. So there, if you give, if you give um, via order of the eye, to the left eye and the right eye conscious and subconscious mind you're like listen you will present to me in physical reality because remember it's taking in it's seeing what is appearing in front of it the two eyes you're taking in what is in the physical realm around you in your experience they're taking it in so that you can experience it physically if the third eye the eye of the all that sees beyond time 4d and sees into the 3d now governs and masters over both of those dimensions underneath it and he as the third eye is able to dictate a time construct in order to alleviate unnecessary concern in in the manifestation taking place so sometimes and it really depends like um i've given myself deadlines before okay but you know and and they worked okay like where i want to manifest something and i i to me it's like a little weightier in essence i'm like you know what i'm gonna give myself x amount of quote unquote time to manifest it i drop it and let it go and it happens okay what that does when you dictate a time this is not saying that it's just your time bender now that's what lord saturn is saying so you see beyond the illusion of time but sometimes the two eyes the left and the right brain the conscious and the subconscious it appeases them to have a time frame because they can compute more with that rather than oh shit will happen when it happens right like if and that's in the case where a deadline would be a good thing so if you are on a time crunch to manifest whatever the fuck you want, it could be the tiniest thing. If you're on a time crunch to manifest a free fucking donut, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nothing too too small, too grand, you know, whatever the case, right? So whatever it is that you're manifesting, if you give yourself a time crunch, the time crunch can assist you. Now, ideally, you know, individuals that talk about manifesting, they're like, no, don't worry about the time. And yes, I do agree with that. But on the other end of the spectrum, because I always talk about poles and what Lord Saturn is telling me, if you have mastered time from the vantage point of the eye of the all, now you look down into the 4D and the 3D, which is representative of time in 3D spatial dimensions from your ethereal all that is self and upwards you know there are other dimensions beyond 5d but we're we're going to keep this simple if you stipulate a contract that your conscious mind and un, uh, subconscious mind can understand just remember it, it's super conscious conscious those are the two aspects on one side and then we have subconscious unconscious two aspects on the other side okay so they're, they're kind of lumped together but for the purpose of this we're just going to keep it simple conscious and subconscious mind but just just to let you know unconscious is underneath 
the subconscious and uh, super conscious is above the conscious, but they're, they're really, uh, you know, I named four branches. It's like two are on one side, two are on the other side, like I mentioned. So when the eye of the all is dictating to all of the branches of mind, like, yo, 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 this is what we're going to do right now. I'm going to make it easy for you. I'm going to give you a time. You understand time. And make sure it's not a time frame that is going to scare the conscious and subconscious mind. Because remember, the eye of the all... The third eye dictates to the conscious mind and then the conscious filters down into the subconscious and it dictates to that, okay? Um, but that that's how manifestation works, okay? That's just what it is. That's the hierarchy, I guess. I don't know, you know, a more appropriate term in this moment. That's, that's what I would call the hierarchy. So it's the third eye dictates to one of the eyes. The conscious eye, the conscious mind eye says this, this is what we're going to do. And then conscious eye says to subconscious eye, okay, this is what we're going to do, right? And then that's how it works. But uh, if you want to make time work for you, because time can work for you. Once you govern the element of time, it works to your advantage always, always, always. Mwah! Thank you, Lord Saturn. He wants me to let you know that. When you have mastered this element, you understand the branches of mind, you understand how manifestation works, you simply uh, think of a time frame or think of a date on the calendar or think of something, okay? Something that has to do with time. It could be time on a clock. It could be time on a calendar. It could be, uh, you know, whatever. I, I don't, you know what I mean? There's so many different branches that it's going to be unique to everyone. You go in. When you know how to utilize time and you know that you're going to be calm and content with that time frame. So don't pick a time frame like if it makes you feel some sort of way. Uh, I don't know how to describe it better, but this time frame should not produce a charge of electricity within your physical vessel. A charge of electricity in one's physical vessel can be a negative charge or it can be a positive charge. But if, it's, if it is... Uh, any type of charge is produced when you think of this time frame it's not that time frame so don't use it that's my advice i mean you're gonna do whatever you want and you always should do whatever the fuck you want i'm just but I, i'm i'm telling you like this is what i'm channeling right now from what i know if you choose a time frame and it produces some sort of charge whether it's positive and you're like <laughs> or if it's negative you're like mm, you know like whatever the fuck i don't know what those sound effects were but there you go Okay, it, it should not ideally produce a charge. You should feel content. Uh, you should feel calm. You should feel at peace, which would, whatever time frame you put. Okay, that's how you know it's the correct time frame. And you know that it will happen within that time frame. Because if you produce it, oh yeah, I'm going to get my manifestation in 24 minutes. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, and, and you're excited, right? I bet you it ain't going to be it. Okay, it, or if you say, oh you know, 10 years from now. No, because that, how is that going to make you feel right? Like it's going to make you feel low energy. So if, if it's producing even an energy of elation where there's a charge and I'm not saying that you can't feel bliss and ecstasy while you're in the moment of peace when there's no charge, but it's just going to feel peaceful. There's not going to be a charge. And I'm trying to like explain this um, for those who tend to maybe intellectualize their emotions Okay, uh, it doesn't matter your astrology chart, air sign, water sign, you know, because we're thinking about intellect and feeling, right? So that's why, you know, those would be pertinent. But anyone, doesn't matter your, your sun sign, moon sign, blah, blah, blah. It don't matter what tarot card you pick today, okay? It matters if you set a time frame and it produces a charge in your physical vessel you're gonna feel it you're gonna feel the charge you're gonna feel something shift in the energy that's the wrong time frame okay um if you're overly excited no if you're overly miserable no things that are real are neutral always 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 it's going to feel calm content but it's going to be a calm content where you're just like like you're like cloud nine that's like the best way i can describe it like you're floating on air for me i like to say it's like 
it feels like air, you know, like air like for me. Okay. Um, so for you, it might feel different, you know, might be another element, right? It might feel uh, solid and grounded, you know, um, but it's going to be neutral in nature. So whether it's light and breezy, whether it's like gentle morning dew on a fucking leaf, okay whether it's like a warm like you're sitting in front of a cozy fire right all of those like what and i'm trying to say this for all the different astrological elements okay um so for me what gets my fucking motor running is the the sensation of air i just oh okay so um whatever element is going to feel like your ecstasy you're going to know it because it's going to have a neutral undertone and it, it's not going to produce a charge. So when you're trying to manifest on a timeline, let's say we'll use 24 minutes. I'm going to get my manifestation in 24 minutes and 37 seconds. T minus five, four, three. Like if you do in that and you feel in some sort of way and there's your, your physical vessel, likely it will happen in the heart center, heart chakra, because that is the center betwixt the lower chakra energy and the upper chakra energy. It's just the bridge. So if it produces a charge there, the sensations can be different for everyone, but they're going to know that there's a charge. Okay. No matter what sign, no matter what element you're going to notice your heart chakra energy in the center of your chest, in the dead center, it's going to shift. However it is when something is right, when something is true, when you have neutralized it, it feels neutral, but there'll be a twang i don't know if that's the right right word but it is now there will be a twang of whatever elemental force resonates with you that you love like i love wind in my face i love that shit okay i love a breeze i love air blowing on me all the fucking time i love it okay that's why it resonates with me for you like i said it might be sitting in front of a cozy fire and you feel that warmth that radiating heat for some it might be out in like you know the early morning mist and it's like there's tiny water droplets in your face right it's gonna be different um it, it could be dependent on your astrological placements i'm not gonna lie it could be um but it's going to be different for everyone but it is going to have a whatever type of elemental force that you enjoy in the 3d earth matrix it's going to you're going to feel neutral when it's right for you with a twang of that that elemental force okay so let's say that i uh you know i make a declaration i want to manifest xyz by this time whatever the fuck it is okay and then i give myself a date i give myself a time frame amount of whatever right amount of minutes amount of you know hour whatever the fuck i want to do okay days weeks months years minutes hours calendar whatever the fuck whatever you're doing i will say this by this appointed date because when you're saying by this appointed date it means it could happen sooner and you invite it to happen sooner but you give yourself a deadline right and then you tell the conscious mind and the subconscious mind by this appointed hour that I choose in this moment and I continue to choose and it has been chosen. Therefore, it shall be unto me or whatever. The fuck, I don't know. You can make your own little fucking poem if you want. But you tell that to the two eyes from the eye of the all vantage point. You say conscious mind. Boom. This is what you dictate to the subconscious mind. And then that happens. If you don't get any sort of charge as a response or reaction it could be both okay um because a response would be feeling neutral with that slight elation of whatever element i mentioned and a reaction would be more of like a a uh, a, a charge energy that's visceral reaction is charged up energy you could tell the difference in your heart center i don't know if that makes sense i know it will to someone but i'm trying to be as descriptive as i can okay because um you know, there would be a lot of times that, that like, I would just, uh, I'm like, what the fuck is this going on? And then I would have to think about it. But it's really simple. If you want to get it down to, like, just basic science, your physical vessel, if you're unfamiliar in the realm of feelings, if there's some sort of charge that is occurring in your heart center, it's going to feel different when you think of that time frame. This, this is the same true for if something triggers you, right? If something triggers you, you're going to feel that sensation, that change, in the energy of your heart center, the center of your chest, 
you're going to feel the energy different okay so if if you declare a time frame and it feels totally neutral and everything is good like you just you're just like yeah whatever that's what it is right it's just totally neutral and then you're like yeah that sounds good right with that little twang of whatever element that's how you know and then and then you were able to drop it and let it go that is really the second most important thing sip of coffee um his first most important thing obviously is deciding what the fuck you want and then you know like communicating that clearly to your fucking two eyes that what like listen homie y'all motherfuckers are gonna present to me that which i declare to see you know what i'm saying like you you gon' you gonna tell these motherfuckers you're like you're going to produce to me the visual results in the physical tangible realm that which i declare unto you to present to me that's what you're going to say that's the most important thing so decide what you want via the avenue of the eye but if you want if you have a time frame in mind and you think of a time and you're feeling some sort of weird electric charge in your chest in your heart chakra in your center no choose a different time choose a different date choose different uh hour hands on the clock whatever it is change it until it feels neutral with a twang of whatever element you enjoy and you will enjoy this element physically in your physical realm it's not going to be an element that you don't like okay so if you're someone who you really love air on your face like me and you're just you don't like i i don't know pick something you don't like you know i'm saying we only talk about things we like here we don't talk about things we don't like you know because we don't want to perpetuate that bullshit but well sometimes i mean if you can laugh at some things like that that's a totally different story but either way i don't want to digress too far um so it's going to be an element that you physically enjoy so like i said it could be early morning mist on your face you go outside and you're in the tropics and there's that mist in the air some some it's gonna feel like that only in a feeling like the icing on the cake of neutrality that's a real like oh oh i don't know where that, that came from my higher self thank you oculus anyway so um yeah so that's what i want to talk about with with you know in the con construct of time on the 3d earth matrix and things like that because like lord saturn you know he's telling me about this he, he's like you know because i was like when i channel it's pretty much instantaneous but then obviously when i talk about it and explain it, it takes a little bit uh longer time and um so when when we're in the essence of like a time construct in a state of fear the state of fear will typically produce like a charge in in the physical vessel right but if you're not um if you're seeing things not from the vantage point of the only two eyes which will like to produce a lot of fear but based on what they see physically okay when you are from the vantage point of the third eye ideally you will not have that sensation of any type of charge that's how you know you're seeing something accurately because it'll be neutral in nature there'll be no type of charge occurring in in your physical vessel no type of electricity or anything like that and if you you know see a deadline or something that causes you some sort of charge in your physical vessel no that's false information it's not real okay because it's it's aggravating the the ego it's like again the the hands the hot stove shit like no 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 you don't want to go there uh false information take a deep breath i don't know use a punching bag do what you have to do release that charge exercise go for a walk go for a run okay whatever you have to do okay to reduce that charge breath work uh i don't know okay orgasm even uh, whatever you have to do to release that charge this could be different for everyone too release the charge and then you start back from scratch and you go okay uh this is what the two eyes are showing me but the two eyes lie because they show me what is old news they show me the past p-a-s-s-e-d now i step forward into the future me as a time bender and i declare unto my surroundings unto my two eyes you shall present this to me this is the time frame that is a way to sort of lock it in place whilst 
whilst giving the two eyes, the conscious mind and the subconscious something that they can understand as well. So it's like a relationship, right? Because if you want your physical reality to mold around you, you have to have respect for the 3D, okay? And uh, it's, it's, it's a relationship, you know what I'm saying? If you want to bend time, you understand that time doesn't exist. 3D and 5D are one and the same. It's just a physical manifestation of the energy that, that exists, right? You know, non-corporally. I don't know if that's a word, but it is the fuck now. And you say 3D, like... I want you to do this for me, but it's also because Saturn, remember, he, he governs law and agreements and contracts. He's like, but I'm going to give you something as well. Because remember, it's a, it's a reciprocal relationship. It's one and the same. It's the same thing, different degree. So Saturn, as the uh, astute businessman that he is, he says, 3D, I want you to do this for me. I'm going to give you this time frame. This is a time frame that you are able to compute and you are able to incorporate into the 3D for me to see because I already see it with my eye. Now I want to see it with my two eyes, the subconscious and conscious, the um, right eye, left eye, uh, right brain, left brain, whatever. They're like, okay, here's some information we can compute. There's a time. Remember, 4D is closer to them. They, they're not ascended to 4D or 5D. That's why they take orders from 4D and 5D. So they're like, okay, this is a good time. You know what? Let, let's do this, right? But if, if the ego is irritated, that means that it's uh, the time frame is not something that would benefit your higher self, which means like, listen, if you really want to manifest something fast, you can. It might be a bumpier journey than if you were to just wait three days and have it come through smoother you know what i mean like if you want a seamless transition for everyone involved for everything involved for like the better you know what i mean like if it's like a pure intention like that you want it to be as smooth and seamless as possible because if you're everyone and everyone is you and you have a time frame and and it's um it's only in your best interest. It's not the way a relationship works because then it's imbalanced. Okay. And I'm not even talking about, you know what I mean? This is a metaphor, your relationship with your time frame. If you abuse the 3d realm, you're not, you're going to get something, but it's not going to be a uh, pleasurable. Okay, it's just not. It's not going to be pleasurable. Like, you can get something really fast, but there might be a lot of drama attached to it. And listen, if you're fine with drama and, you know, whatever. Like, I like moving fast, you know what I'm saying? But, like, when I move fast, when I've catapulted my own reality, I've done so. And it's been, like, whew, it's been um, enjoyable for everyone. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, everyone enjoys the experience everything enjoys the experience i don't know if that makes sense okay and yes i'm i'm including non-sentient you know you could have a chair in your experience and and you know that chair is still part of your experience right like i i don't know if that makes sense okay um because everything in your 3d is serving you so if you neglect the 3d to such an extent and you abuse the 3d to such an extent and you're like well i'm the third eye the eye of the all and you bend to my wishes yes that is very true but the 3D realm, it, it's a relationship. So it's like you're sort of putting undue pressure on that part of yourself if you're abusing the 3D and you're not giving it anything for it. It's like that's not an equal exchange. And since everything and everyone is equal and all connected to the all, the 3D is connected to the all. The 3D is connected to you. Even your pens, pencils, fucking all of that shit is connected to you. So how are you treating the things in, in your reality too? Like, do you see what I'm saying? I don't know. Okay. Uh, I went off on a fucking tangent there, but I, it needs to be said in this context because it, like, yes, you can, you control the 3d, you demand of the 3d, and then it does submit to your will because you are that higher octave energy, but it's not, it's, 
you want it to flow seamlessly in the 3D as well because the 3D is also a part of you. So think of it like your higher self. Okay, think of it like this, okay? This is a good example. I don't know where this came from. I think it was Saturn. Thank you, Saturn. Anyway, um, sip of coffee. Hold on. So think of it like this, okay? So we're going to picture the 3D, your physical realm surroundings, the left eye, the right eye, conscious mind, subconscious mind, blah, 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 right? Those are aspects of you. So we're going to picture yourself as like a young child, however, you pick an age, right? Don't exist, right? It doesn't exist. It's going on right now. Anyway, pick yourself at a particular age and picture yourself now. At some point, and it's going to be different for everyone, earlier in their journey, no matter what age they were, they did not have the spiritual knowledge that they do now. Okay? Some might have been more awakened from an earlier age for, or from a later age. You know, it doesn't matter. But at some point, you were not as evolved as you are now. Okay? So we're going to take the, the you that is you now. We're going to look at that from the 5D concept. So the you that you are now is representation of the third eye that I'm speaking about in this video. And your 3D self, the two eyes, the two physical eyes are going to be representative of you earlier in your journey when you didn't know what you know now. So if you command and demand of the 3D of the two eyes from your higher vantage point saying, you must do this, you fucking bitch, like, you know, and you slap it around a little bit. That is equating to you right now bitching around your own younger self when you were less evolved. That's deep. That's deep. It might, it might be shallow for some of you. To me, I was just like, oh, snap. Okay, that's what it's like when you bitch the 3D around and you offer nothing to it. The 3D doesn't know better. The 3D is you in your younger years, whatever year that was for you, when you didn't have the spiritual prowess that you do now. And you might have been very spiritual, but I guarantee you, you evolved a lot. You know more now than you ever have, right? In this physical vessel. Like th this is, you're the most evolved you've ever been. Tomorrow, you'll be even more evolved than this. But if you're bitching around the fucking 3D, that's like you're, you're, you from your vantage point now, you're going, you're in a time machine, okay? And you're going in and you're bitching around your five-year-old self, your seven-year-old self, your nine-year-old self. However, it could have been your fucking... 18 year old self whatever the fuck it was okay at a time when you didn't know better you swoop on in now and you go in and you just beat the shit out of yourself like you stupid fuck you move when i tell you to move that's what you're doing if you try to bitch around the 3d without offering it something because it doesn't know better just like you didn't know better at whatever age that was, right? And I'm sure, you know, a lot of you can look back at certain points in your experience like, wow, like, like, you know, how did you not have seen that at that point when now you see it so clearly? If you try to bitch around your 3D realm environment, that, that, that's what it equates to, okay? So this is the importance of having a great relationship with your 3D environment from your higher self vantage point because it's a relationship. It's like you're going to bitch around an aspect of you, okay? And I'm taught, I, this is very, it's very, you know, this goes for everything you see in your 3D, okay? Like if you were able to brush your teeth today, that's part of your physical realm and, and that's something that, you should be like, wow, like I'm able to have running water to brush my teeth. Okay. So it, it's like the running water doesn't know better. It's just there, right? It's just there, but it's serving you. It's allowing you to brush your teeth. So how do you serve it? You clean your fucking sink, right? You fucking clean your sink. You don't leave that shit like hard water stains and shit. Like, no, you clean your sink. Go ahead. You get a little Q-tip and you go in there with some bleach. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever it is. Okay, but that's the equivalent. So that's why you want to make sure that when you're going in from your 5D vantage point, but via the avenue of the eye of the awe, you go in tier two eyes, they don't know better. They don't know better. That's why if you give them a deadline by this time and, and you don't feel a charge, it feels neutral and it feels like 
you know, like that element, whichever element uh, resonates with you, then they're going to work magic for you because they're like, oh, okay, well, you're giving us something just like you keeping that fucking sink clean because it's allowing you the privilege to brush your teeth. You go in and you're like, here's a time frame 3D. I would love for you to give me this. It's a relationship. You don't, you don't go in bitching a motherfucker around because then what, what's going to happen? You know what I mean? Is it going to want to deal with you? Think of, think of yourself. If you were fucking 10 years old and you were, you know, acting a fool, whatever the fuck, and you look at yourself now and you're like, whoa, I can't believe I did that. You know what? Everyone I'm sure has a story like that. Okay imagine you going in from your vantage point now bitching around your 10 year old self i can't believe you did that you stupid motherfucker wow just that's that's the way that i'm going to describe it so that's why it's very important for you to have a good relationship with your 3d and why time frames manifesting on a time frame can be beneficial because it's yes, it's giving you the peace of mind because now you're you, like your eyes like, you know what I dictate. I already know that my two eyes present unto me that which I present unto them from my vantage point over here. Right. It's only a matter of time. And uh, the eye continues to focus on that which it wants to see from the two eyes. But it says two eyes. Listen, I would love for it. If you will present this to me in my 3D reality so I could taste it, feel it, touch it, smell it, mm -mm -mm, whatever the fuck you want to do to it, right? Okay? And then you go in and you tell them, listen, you know what? Because the two eyes are going to enjoy the manifestation too, right? Because it's coming from the eye, which is only going to benefit the two eyes. And it says... You're going to enjoy this too. You're going to enjoy this so much presenting it to me. Here's a time frame. You can do this because even the subconscious mind, which doesn't know logic or reason, if we really want to get into the terms of like energy and things, it's still, it's still more likely to compute a time or a number just because it is bound to the eagle physical vessel. So it's going to be more likely to interpret a number simply because number one, the subconscious is dictating unto it and the sub, uh, because the conscious mind is dictating unto the subconscious and the conscious mind likes numbers, but the subconscious is familiar with numbers, right? Because there are numbers floating around. There's time floating around all, you know, just because the attachment that the, um, emotional body has to the the physical vessel so it's going to be able to compute that as well right it's going to have something to also fixate on because it understands in a way conceptually the concept of a calendar date and the conscious mind obviously is great with deadlines and logistics and things like that so it, it's just, just um that's ideally what one would want to do because now you're you're serving the two aspects of your ego consciousness right with the conscious mind subconscious mind you're dictating it from your higher self your soul level and you're also benefiting them because now it's you're not just declaring you're gonna do this right the fuck now they're like what like they're they're not even they're not trained really to do that like that's not what they're for okay because in the 3d reality like that's really not what they're designed for i mean they do have like a higher design once you unlock different keys and things like that but um ideally from like the root from the base of it they they just want to they're comfortable with taking orders from the higher self they're comfortable with that rather than the higher self who takes orders from no one and the higher self just dictates the higher self just bees that which it wants to be it sees that which it wants to see and it just is like there's really no rules there even the conscious mind and the subconscious mind there's still rules that they have to abide by so it, it just makes them feel more comfortable makes them feel a little more cozy if you give them a deadline but you have to make sure as i said you know that the deadline uh it doesn't produce some sort of electrical charge in the physical vessel it has to be a neutral feeling and again that could be a neutral feeling also laced with the element of that which you really enjoy uh physically in your physical vessel okay that's what it's going to feel like and yeah i don't know if there's anything else i have to say in regards to this but that is what i have for you today about how uh you know 
bending time, time constructs, uh, things like that, you know, navigating the two planes of mind, the two eyes via the eye of the all. I am Oculus, the alien next door. Thank you, Lord Saturn, for joining me today. Thank you guys for joining me today on this stroll. We will chit-chat again soon.